Welcome to our YouTube channel dedicated to exploring the latest insights and opportunities in the world of finance and investments with a special focus on currency revaluation, gold and silver investments, cryptocurrency and make money online opportunities and more. If you're interested in staying up to date on the latest developments in currency revaluation, particularly the Iraq dinar and other currencies, best to subscribe to this channel. Please note that the content on this YouTube channel is for informational purposes only and should not be considered financial advice. We are not licensed financial advisors, and the opinions expressed on this channel are based on our own research and personal experience. We strongly recommend that you do your own research and consult with a licensed financial advisor. Also, just before we go any further, this channel has a weekly giveaway of 100 Dogecoin. To enter, all you have to do is be subscribed to this channel like this video and watch this video until the end because if you don't you will be automatically disqualified from the giveaway we will be sharing the random hashtag keyword daily somewhere in the video and then comment hashtag the keyword with no spaces in between in the comment section good luck now let's proceed with the latest direct in our news and until today please take these information with a grain of salt and please make sure to do your own due diligence from Intel Guru Mark Z via PDK comment, Iraqi citizens are being shown the new lower denominations on the street level. They are being distributed in Iraq. If so, I assume this puts us in a short window until it's on forks for us. From Mark Z, if they are being distributed, yes, we do know they have printed them. We have seen the contracts with Delaru in 2018 when they were printed. We know they have sent cut sheets or samples to banks, large retailers, etc showing all the security features, etc. So they have printed them, prepared everyone, educated the exchange houses. They have also formed a committee to educate people on price changes. It's clear they are going to lower denominations if they are finally releasing them at the street level. Well, that is huge news. From Newshound Guru Militia Man, article, Iraq is heading towards printing new paper currency. They're not going to print new currency in the sense of triple zero notes. There's no reason for it. They were destroying perfectly good triple zero notes. They did a video on it destroying money, making little pellets. They had a whole show on it. Why would they be destroying good money? Granted, if they filmed that they were damaged with ink on them, all these different things, I understand that. That wasn't the case. In 2018, they spent tens of millions of dollars on printing new currency. Bottom line is, why would they be printing triple zero notes at a time when inflation is low? That would create inflation. The whole idea is not to do that. Article quote, there's no intention to print new paper currency at the central bank. From Intel Guru Frank 26, I don't care about the WTO and HCL because it only waits for one thing, the new exchange rate. The only mechanism that everyone is waiting for is the new exchange rate. That is the simple fact. This fact is real because Sudani is constantly reinforcing that idea by constantly coming out on TV and talking to you about you're going to get purchasing power. From Newshound Guru Samson, article, is Iraq heading towards printing new paper currency? Quote, Baghdad the Parliamentary Finance Committee confirmed on Thursday that there is no intention to print new paper currency. From Intel Guru Mark Z via PDK, as far as RV related news, there is a lot of expectations in Iraq for this weekend, but no huge movement yet. We are waiting to get some news. Iraqi contacts are pretty hopeful they can force a dinar value change to reduce the use of US dollars. A lot of hopeful talk and most are looking for a change on Sunday. That's only a day away so guess we will soon find out. From Newshound Guru Militia Man, article quote, a lack confirmed. There will be meetings held with the Federal Bank and U.S. Treasury at the end of this August. What's the date today? It's not far off. The last meeting he had was unannounced. I think him coming back to the untied states, he's probably going to bring something he should have had done a long time ago. From Newshound Guru Pimpy, if you're planning on retiring sometime this year because of the Iraqi dinar exchange rate, well, put a hold on your plans for just a little bit until we get past this next year in my opinion. With the election season coming up and we have no idea who's going to be in charge of the country. We have no idea what kind of actions are going to be taken against Iraq. The fact that the United States Treasury has now taken up an entire floor in the Central Bank of Iraq is not a good thing at all. 
before ending with a few more updates. The hashtag keyword for the 100 Dogecoin giveaway is election. You can be the lucky winner if you like, subscribe, and watch the main content of this video. This will be for this coming Sunday's giveaway, and the winner will be announced in one of the Sunday's videos so you do not want to miss it. From Intel Guru Frank 26 Question, did Chase Bank place banks inside of Iraq? Not that I know. Not Chase, no. From Newshound Guru Samson, article, PM Advisor, Al Alak upcoming visit to NY supports banking system stability. And finally, the last update from Newshound Guru Militiaman. If you guys have the lop question, it's totally uneducated as far as I'm concerned. 100%. Iraq said they were going to bring value to their currency. Doing a lop doesn't bring value. It's a reverse split. It stays the same. It's total BS, utter nonsense. It's unstudied, uneducated, and frankly, quackery as far as I'm concerned. Moreover, we posted a breaking analysis video the other day. In this video, we broke down an important new agreement between the Iraq Stock Exchange and the Egyptian Exchange. This partnership aims to boost investments and modernize Iraq's financial markets, which could be a critical step towards stabilizing and potentially revaluing the Iraqi dinar. But what does this really mean for Iraq's economic future and the value of the dinar? Please go ahead and check it out by clicking on the link on the top right of this video, as you don't want to miss this. Lastly, we will continue to post videos about the recent events and articles supporting the changes taking place in Iraq so you don't want to miss them. Also, don't forget, please drop a comment below with hashtag and the keyword and let us know what you think. If you like this content and like to support this channel, please don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell notification so you get notified when new videos are uploaded. See you on the next video. Bye.